our little frog jumping on lily pad returns and this time it returns because we want to know more things about him for instance this time our froggy friend there are no flies but he can get tired of jumping on lily pads so he can jump back to us he's saying okay i'm done here jumping on lily pads let's go home maybe you know go through mcdonald's or something but it's fine like that so we are adding a new state below state 2 which we call state 4 with a probability of 0 0.2 and a probability of 1 back to itself because every state needs outgoing arrows all adding up to 1 and let's right now um, to make it easier for us call our initial distribution instead of letting the frog decide on which lily pad it jumps we just place him on lily pad 1 like this and we are interested in the probability of our frog ending up in state 4 so we are not interested in at what specific time it does end up in state 4 we just want to know what the probability is of arriving at state 4 so x is s4 or 4 we just want to know what the what the hitting time is and we can calculate that and will be an interesting answer but also a logical one so let's see how we calculate this we write down hitting time as the following a hitting time from starting from one and I want to go to four I want to know what the probability is that my frog will return to me well if I start in state one it is actually 0 0.6 multiplied with the hitting time of going from state two to four because the transition from state one to state two has a probability of 0 0.6 and then it's the hitting probability of from 2 to 4 plus the hitting probability if I go to state 3 and these are all possibilities that you go to now let's look at 2 4 first because we need to work out these we do not know what these answers are if we start from 2 and 4 there's a 0 0.8 probability that I am going back to state 1 and then it's again from state 1 to state 4 what is that uh, hitting probability or hitting time plus a 0 0.2 probability of going from um, state 4 to state 4 well going from state 4 to state 4 what is that probability well it's actually 1 so this will just result in 0 0.8 1 comma 4 plus 0 0.2 now for the next one hitting time of 3 to 4 if I go from 3 to 4 we can go a 0 0.2 probability oh wait let's do the other one first we have a 0 0.8 probability we're going from 1 to 4 because we went to 1 and then it's again the hitting time from 1 to 4 plus 0 0.2 probability of ending in state 2 and then it is from state 2 to state 4 and state 2 to 4 we already know we know 1 to 4 because that's up there now we can fill everything in which is good from 1 to 4 let's scooch up a little bit First we get 0 0.6 multiplied with 2.4 which was 0 0.8 times 1, 4 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.4 0 0.8 
eighths one comma four plus zero point two multiplied with and we're also going to replace this h two comma four with what we see up there zero point eight eight one comma four plus zero point two close the bracket and this bracket like this maybe it's better to write it like this yes great there are only hitting times from one to four there are no other hitting times so now we can calculate this like you did in high school so let's do that from one to four we get to the following we get that zero all these values multiplied are zero dot twelve for this one and this one uh, for the age one comma four it is zero point four eight age one comma four plus zero point sixteen for this times this times this plus zero dot zero six four eight one comma four for this times zero point two times zero point eight eight comma one and also 0 0.32 for this one multiplied with this one h1 comma 4 adding them all together will result in 0 0.136 plus 0 0.864 h1 comma 4 and now we get something is very interesting like i said in the beginning if we subtract this from the left side, we get 0 0.136 h1,4 is 0 0.136. So what is, the, what is our probability of ending in state 4 is 1? Well, that is logical because this is the only state where if you enter a state, you'll never get out. So you're bound to end up in this state, which you can never leave. If you look at infinitely timestamps, if we made the um, excuse me, I rotated it. If we, for example, made another one also absorbing, for instance, we remove this probability and we remove this probability, and we set. Um, state 3 is also absorbing um, it's also going to another friend let's see we, we move lilypad uh, 3 and we just say this is another friend of us waiting with his hand and we put a frog on state 1 then we can calculate again what the hitting time is and if we do that right now we see that one comma uh, from hitting time for 1 to 4 is 0 0.6 times uh, 2 comma 4 and we actually have also plus 0 0.4 of age 3 comma 4 but going right now from state 3 to state 4 doesn't exist you cannot go from state 3 to 4 anymore because once you get into state 3 like state 4 you are stuck there so this actually is removed like oh as this is removed so this makes it way easier if we calculate this with h2 comma 4 that we calculated above then we would get 0 0.6 multiplied with 0 0.8 h1 comma 4 plus 0 0.2 which results in 0 0.48 1 comma 4 plus 0 0.12 and if we would get the h1 comma 4 to the left side and divide everything by that value we would get a probability of 
getting to state 4, if we start in state 1, of a probability of 0 0.2307, meaning that there's only about a quarter of a chance that we even get to state 4 before we get stuck in state 3. Now this is fun and all, but what now if we want to know how many steps on average it takes? So we can look at that as well. So instead, um, right now, we are assuming that we have our old uh, Markov chain back again. We have this of probability 0 0.8 and state 3 going back to state 2 with a probability of 0 0.2 again. How many steps on average does it take if we are starting in state 1 to go to state 4? And for the hitting time we use the letter H and for this one we are using the letter K. So going from K 1 to 4, how many steps does it take? Well, at least one step because we need to, we're not there yet. So we need one step, plus a 0 0.6 probability of going from step 2 to 4, plus a 0 0.4 probability of go uh, taking the steps from 3 to 4. And again, we need to work these out. For number of steps from 2 to 4, we get, of course, always one step because we're not there yet. 0 0.2 probability of going from 4 to 4 and a 0 0.8 probability of going from 1 to 4 again. However, if we're going number of if we're counting the number of steps from 4 to 4, it is 0. So this will result in 0 0.2 times 0, so we can remove this. For k 3,4 we also do one step. We have 0 0.2 probability of going from step 2, state 2 to state 4, and a 0 0.8 probability of going from the number of steps from 1 to 4 again. And we can add these back into our first equation, which results in k 1,4 is 1 plus 0 0.6 times. 1 plus 0 0.8 k 1 to 4 plus 0 0.4 then we go from 1 plus 0 0.2 open the bracket for k 2,4 which we replace and I'm running out of space here Um, and we also need to add 0 0.8 k1,4. This bracket and this bracket, like that. Now we can, of course, rewrite this and everything and make it easier and work out the brackets. So let's do that. We'll get to 1 plus 0 0.6 plus. 0 0.48 k1,4 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.08 0 0.064 k1,4 plus 0 0.32 of k in the number of steps from 1 to 4. Adding everything up will net us will net us 0 0.864 k1,4 plus 2,08 subtracting this and getting this to the left side again and dividing by the value in front of it will give us the expected number of steps, which is, in our case, 15,29 and a bit. 
but these are the expected number of steps number of steps that we have to take if we start in state one and we want to know how many steps it takes expected to take to get in state four both methods are very similar the difference is for k that you always add one because you always take one step and for the h you do not try always to get back to one comma four or uh, or like the the starting one the starting hitting time because then if you have multiple hitting times in your formula you cannot calculate it so try to rewrite everything to one variable and the same goes with the expected number of steps with k try to work towards one k value